So this piece really brings you on a journey and it's a great one. I love the way it starts with this kind of slow beginning as she's walking and how the music picks up as she reaches her destination. That location was absolutely gorgeous and I thought they made really good use of the space dancing like in and around that structure, that monument, whatever it was. Um, and there's a good sense of mystery here too, those really small interactions between the woman and the dancers with the apple. I absolutely love that. And then her solo dance was really awesome too and the way they had the other dancers in the background and how they all slowly came together. Everyone was so graceful and moved so beautifully in this piece. It was just such a joy to watch. A pretty special piece in my opinion. Um, for dance pieces typically I feel like it's usually just choreography centric and that's kind of all you get. And those are usually really good on itself but this is um, was able to kind of tell a story and had a beginning, middle, and end to it. And I feel like everyone kind of has their own interpretation of what they just watched. And in my head, uh, this one was kind of um, feeling lost and then uh, finding a new group of people and finding a sense of belonging. And with this being dedicated to the whole pandemic, it kind of took that theme alongside it. Um, so it's really special to kind of see how that story unfolded through dance and a lack of dialogue. So um, yeah, it was just really cool to kind of see everyone interact with the space, the location, and even just having a set design of the table in the middle was uh, different from a lot of other things. So this really is just a unique, a unique dance video. And yeah, I like the fact that we as the audience get to interpret it as our own way. So uh, really great job overall. This was so cool. Um, I've never really seen this much storytelling in a choreography short film before. Um, it was very specific and I loved it. Um, I love the beautiful locations, the hiking through the forest, that Stonehenge kind of feeling to that structure that she discovers. Um, the journey that she's taking. I love the storytelling of this. Um, I love the props of the, the table with all the stuff on it. Um, I was just really rooting for her. I was really rooting for her for whatever her goal was that I wanted her to, I wanted her to reach that goal. And I'm so glad that she became a part of this company. Um, I, uh, I love how during portions of this where everyone was dancing together, everyone was masked. I don't know why, I just kind of felt like there was something very appropriate about them all wearing face masks. Even though we're all supposed to right now, it just felt appropriate. Um, the apple, the way that the apple was placed and filmed was very cool. Um, I like the lighting throughout the piece um, and also how it was shot, the various angles and choices with camera um, that was being made what was excellent. Um, her dancing at the end, and then with the, everybody joining her, beautiful. Um, and then all, all of them leaving together. It was beautiful. It was really, really well done. Congratulations. Beautiful work. I enjoyed this one. I thought on top of the really interesting performance dance, um, I really enjoyed the world building that was going on kind of behind it all. Um, there's definitely feels like there's just more than meets the eye here. Uh, which I thought was great. It just really elevates the whole piece to another level, just makes it that much more interesting. And I was thoroughly intrigued. It was great, not only because the dancing was well done, um, but I thought it told a story very effectively. I mean, this girl that we follow uh, throughout is meant to be like a surrogate for us, the viewer. You know, she's on the outside looking at this crazy group of people invading this famous monument for their dance routine. But once she steps in and she sees all of the keepsakes in there, you can see her just becoming overcome with emotion and overwhelmed by the moment. So she begins to dance with them. And the exchange at the end when they hand her a mask and she goes off with them, you know, that was very heartwarming. So I love these sort of dance uh, films where uh, we see a very effective story told throughout as well. I really enjoyed How We Live. I think you did a great job in the storytelling of it. Um, it was very clear that this man, this traveler, he comes in um, to this like temple. It, it was kind of cloisteries to me. It it reminded me of almost. Um, 
but coming in and just seeing the the people who live there and the inhabitants and seeing how they live um there was like i said there was a lot of mysticism to it um and i think the dancers captured that the sense of awe and um this sense of lightness through all of it just like floating um and, and entrancing almost. But overall, it was really, really good. It had a very clear story to it, which um, doesn't always happen in a dance piece. So great job. Really beautiful, really interesting piece. First of all, what is this location they found? Is this a you know historic location? I don't, I don't know what this is, but this this temple looking place is very cool. So you know, great find there, great use of location, all the scenery, uh, the tall grass and everything. So the cinematography was great, you know, um, really beautifully photographed. The performers, wow, the, they did such a wonderful job, you know, such beautiful, skilled dancing. It was just really nice to see. And, uh, you know, strange and, and mysterious and cool story. You got this explorer coming upon this this temple where there's some something mystical happening, you know, with these other performers and there's an altar there and then they all leave together. So, it's kind of a nice story of her finding some, you know, magical people and, and, and joining their community, you know, through dance. It's kind of what I got from it. So um, it's called How We Live. It's good, a very good title because it's kind of like she's coming into this society and they're showing her how they live. And then she chooses to live with them, you know. Great. ABC. Wonderful story. I, no dialogue. And I understood everything that happened. So excellent work. Um, love the music as well. And uh, wow, it was, you know, beautiful photography. Like I said, uh, well directed. Very well edited, um, you know, nice cinematic moments. So great job on this, and uh, good luck with it. It was, it was, it was really great. Bravo! I like this. I thought this was uh, uh, there was a nice story, a nice uh, spine through this thing. Uh, this woman, you know, it's a pandemic story. It's a woman trying to, you know, she's alone and comes upon this tribe of dancing women and joins them and but there was a nice story to it that was build and there was character development um and it was well scored and well choreographed um cinematography was pretty good um the nice use of the environment uh the piece felt a bit stretched uh at one point there maybe it was, i think it was like about a f almost a 15 minute p uh 15 minutes long it felt like it should have been maybe like 12 minutes but that was just a minor thing. Overall, I thought it was really nice. It was, it was cool to see. Uh, although I did keep thinking, why are they wearing their masks outdoors? <laughs> but overall, really well done. And uh, just it's nice to see the story amongst, you know, working with the uh, choreography and the music. Just uh, a nice synthesis. It's a really great um, dance approach to... The pandemic i really liked how the setting was created it had the feel of a short story and i found that really captivating i was really curious about the characters and the setting it looks like stonehenge which i thought was really cool i don't know if it is but um i thought that was a really interesting uh location to film if it is and it, it looked really cool i was delightfully surprised at seeing the um, the table with the necklaces and, and the sticks. I just thought that was such a beautiful setup um, and allowed for a lot of really great emotional moments within the dancing and in the main character's piece. And I really liked that moment when it looks like they're going to charge um, and attack the main the main character uh, in the narrative. And so they offer her a mask. I, I just thought that was really cool. Um, and just the the dance narrative of the story and the way that it was put together was, was really beautiful. Watching the film How We Live and having the context of it being a reaction to the COVID-19 pandemic, I think a lot of the moments really rang true. For example, the offering of the apple and how it was devoured, I think, brought up the idea of scarcity to me. The altar, I thought, was a great representation of both reflecting on and honoring what we have lost. I think that the setting being so natural and the individual wandering in the beginning and wondering what they might be searching for, to me, brought up the idea of how a lot of us have sought a way to connect with others and maintain our communities in a time of such isolation, but ultimately have instead found a different kind of connection or a reconnection with nature. 
And I think that the film to me overall landed in a place where we have formed new kinds of communities and reoriented our society so that we can continue to move forward in a way that acknowledges how we've changed and what we have lost, but is ultimately safe.